So today will be all about transforming your mindset from powerless to powerful, even when it feels impossible. Because like we just shared, there's some lows and then there's some highs. And sometimes it really feels impossible to get back up to the high. And so today I want to dial in on a a Forbes approved (laughs) four step prescription. And the reason why this is Forbes approved is because this was literally in Forbes (laughs) a couple weeks ago. These, These exact prescriptions that I will be sharing with you today. So the first uh, prescription here that I'll share with you is to make a golden gratitude list, then to stop stating generic affirmations, establish a piggy bank of self-trust, and take a golden minute. These are all tools that are really going to allow us to really transform our mindset from powerless to powerful, even when it feels impossible, so that we can all begin to flow that gold. (laughs) So who am I? Just briefly, I want to uh, introduce myself for those who I have not yet connected with. I am Doc Peace. My full name is Dr. Peace Uche. Uh, many of you might notice that as being as a Nigerian name. I am indeed first generation Nigerian American. I'm also a doctor of pharmacy by trade. And I have leveraged a lot of the skill sets I learned from working in the corporate space to pivot to NFTs. And now I help other service providers pivot to the NFT space as well. I'm a spoken word artist. I've been flowing regularly, actually, <laughs> now that I've entered into the space. Uh, spoken word, I closed out Gary Vee's event back in November at, at, in New York. And since then, I've flown at other NFT events um, in the space, uh, the NFT land. Blast off to NFT land um, and uh, and <laughs> and some aw- aw- awesome um, events as well. Um, and so I, I'm u- leveraging and utilizing this gift, the spoken word, to to provide value to the NFT community. I'm also a radio host of Golden Meta Sessions with Dog Peace, in which I feature NFT creatives who are shining their light. And they share doses of inspiration on how they got started with tips and strategies on how we can really begin to boldly creatively express in the NFT space. Because as, you, as you've seen, the NFT space is all about bold creative expression. And it doesn't matter if you're, um, if, if <laughs> whatever gifts you have, you can share them in the space. A lot of us might may come from the corporate world where we had to kind of separate and isolate uh, different aspects of who we are. Um, and in the NFT space, where I'm realizing, and many of us, many of you may be realizing as well, that it's a place for us to express all a, all our multi dimensions. But in order for us to do so, it takes the ability to empower our confidence, <laughs> the ability to know and own who we truly are. And, and today we're going to be dialing in more on our gifts, our expert skills, and our talent so that we can get it going, get it going. Wadawanya, that's a statement my mom would always say to me growing up as a child. And she still says to that to me till this, to this day, set your intention on something and get it going. And in order to do, the, to do that, though, it takes the, um, you have to believe in yourself. This above all else, believe in yourself. So let's let's get started in really empowering our mindset moving forward uh, also that last note here i am a tribex insider a proud tribex insider so excited to be here with you all today to get it going and share this forbes approved four-step prescription that was just in the forbes magazine a couple weeks ago so this is hot and fresh <laughs> So my promise to you today is to serve and support my NFT community, my tribe on their journey, on your journey to to the best of my abilities. And one thing I like to do is I like to throw in some spoken word every now and then. We started with spoken word and we're going to have some spoken word sprinkled throughout in the form of what I call flow verbs. So a flow verb is like a flow proverb com- combined. <laughs> and so this is the first flow verb for everyone here today. And it reads, one light said to another, how do I shine like you? And the bright light replied, turn on. We are all (laughs) ready to turn our lights on. And so today I'm going to share with you again some tools on how we can we can do that. Uh, Again, this is actually a picture taken at Art Basel back in December. And it reads, many artists think I am so talented. I'm going to be rich and famous someday. Amen to that. (laughs) 
and uh, I help service providers pivot to the NFT space to transform their creativity and expertise into abundant soul purpose. Here in Tribe X, we're all about transforming our creativity and expertise into abundant soul purpose, giving our tribe the tools that we need in order to actually thrive. And uh, this is a reminder here that this bottom message here. <laughs> Read it again and again. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. That is so very true. So it's so very important to dial up what I call your empowerment tool chest so that our focus can go on that which is positive, that which is light-filled, that which is in alignment with <laughs> who we truly are and build that confidence so that we can continue making forward steps towards achieving that abundant soul purpose. Okay, so today's golden agenda is calibration. Today we're gonna get we're gonna get calibrated. Some empowerment calibration here. We're gonna activate the conscious luminary within to achieve abundant soul purpose. And for those who've never heard of this term, it's all right because I came up with it myself. A lot of the terms that you see here are things that I kind of came up with. <laughs> So luminary is someone who shines their light and conscious is someone who's aware, who's aware of their gifts, who's aware of their expert skills, who's aware of their talents and are shining that light within them, expressing those gifts that we've been blessed with. So we're going to activate that conscious luminary within to achieve our abundant soul purpose. How does that sound? Wonderful. And I want to encourage everyone to, to stay active here. Let me know what questions, what um, any questions that are coming up. I'm going to be going through a lot of different prompts. And so feel free if you feel inspired to share the re responses to the prompts. And let's make this a very engaging <laughs> talk here because I don't want it to just be me, me flowing. Let's, let's collectively flow. Okay, so let me, this is my first time running a Discord, so I do want to see, is there a chat just for this specific room? Okay. People just have to unmute themselves and speak. I don't see a hand button either. Wonderful. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you for clarifying. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing out on any of the comments that were coming through. Mm. All right. So before you move um, on, Doc, if you, if the tribe wants to share comments, you could possibly, maybe we could use the mm -hmm. AMA channel. Um, and probably you could do hashtag um, Doc P so we know it's directly um, for this session and we can, I guess, Shana can read through and we can share our doc, doc could check the channel. So we, um, yeah, I guess that would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Great. Cool. Wonderful. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Okay. So let's get it going. Let's get it going. Shall you, shall we? So today's objectives are to, first of all, develop a worthiness mindset. We're going to create a personal, powerful affirmation. And we're going to give ourselves permission to transition, give ourselves to permission to fully pivot into this new world that we're entering into, the space of NFTs, and learn how to really leverage that. And that begins with, uh, with some empowerment. So again, like I promised, another flow verb for everyone here tonight. And this one reads, no sunset or no sunrise or sunset is exactly alike. See, each beam lights up the sky in a distinctive way, so shine your unique ray. We are all gifted <laughs> with different sets of gifts, expert skills, and talents. No one has the exact same set of gifts, expert skills, and talents as you do. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that. And so it's, that's an, so very important why it's, we need to shine our unique ray because if you don't shine, that unique ray of yours, if you don't share your unique gifts, expert skills, and talents, then they're all, they're going to go unshared. So let's, let's shine. So the first thing that I want to dive into today is dialing in on your golden attributes. So gold is an acronym that I use often. And oftentimes people think that I'm talking about either the monetary gold <laughs> or the color gold. But it's actually an acronym. 
And it's a powerful acronym and it stands for Genuine Original Loving Dreamer. The day that I came up with this acronym was a couple years ago. I, I remember it very clearly. I was at a family wedding. I was wearing this beautiful gold sequin dress. At that time, I was working as a full-time pharmacist and I had everything that made me look successful. <laughs> I had the great car. I had the great house. I had the great dress. Um, and from socials, you would see that I'm, I had friends. I was very socially active. But there was something missing. And... And what I found to be missing was that I wasn't in full alignment with my purpose in life. And yes, I was making a difference as a pharmacist. I was doing, I was helping provide medication education and serve my community in that way. But I wasn't tapping into all of my gifts, my expert skills and talents. And as I sat there at this wedding, I wasn't fully able to fully engage because I was, I felt like I was playing a role and I forgot the line. And so as I sat there in this, at this wedding, this bubble of kind of self-doubt, I realized this powerful acronym came to me and it said, you need not just to wear gold, you need to be gold. You need to be a genuine, original, loving dreamer. You need to realign with your purpose and get it going towards that purpose. And so today I want to teach you this powerful acronym because it's the foundation, the underlying foundation of everything that, that, that I, I do in my life and my business. And, uh, and so it's, it's so powerful to remember that we are all gold. We are all genuine, original, loving dreamers. And when we take the time to align with what it is that makes us genuine, original, loving dreamers, that's when magic begins to happen. And so the first question I have for you today is, what are your, some of your genuine attributes? What, is, what are some of those traits that make you who you are that either physical-based, physical, or character-based traits that make you, you. And I think I heard someone unmute. Uh, yeah, I was going to talk about that. I thought you were going to keep going. No worries. I would love for you to share. What are some genuine traits that make you, you? Well, two that just pop up to my head is I'm, I'm trustworthy and very optimistic. Yes. Yeah. I can most of the time see like the good side of things, but when it's something that's relatable to myself, sometimes I don't see the the good side on. Yeah, so trustworthy and and optimistic, definitely incredible traits that you've identified. Anyone else would like to share? What are some genuine attributes that they've come to realize in themselves, whether physical traits or character-based traits that make them? That they make you you. I think you got to see them. I met you in person. It's Pony speaking. Hi, Pony. And I think you got to see it, and I didn't really realize what some of my attributes were. I didn't realize how empowering they were until really recently. And it was really meeting people like yourself, by the way. Um, so, like, most of us don't get to meet each other in real life. Um, I just want you to know that Doc Peace really is that genuine, and she really does mean it. Um, she really is really open. So like, uh, um, anyways, about myself, the, uh, the only things I can say is that you saw it for yourself. I'm really a go-getter. I'm really into, um, networking with people, connecting with people, um, trying to understand each other. And, um, I think that shows itself. Uh, those are the skills that I have that I'm starting to see a lot of people employ me for all of a sudden. Um, That's and until going with what I used to do as an old profession and relying on things that were not permanent. I'm learning now to navigate in this space and using my mental attributes and my, my abilities to like go out there and just create community. And, um, and that's it. Sorry. Yes. No. Yes. So good pony. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for your accolades. Thank you so much for being you um, I saw you in action as well. You people were flocking to you because of your energy. And so that's that's another a genuine original trait of yours. And so the original aspect is really owning and realizing that, again, <laughs> we are all unique beings and we all have gifts of our whether they're physical based traits or character based traits that make us who we are. And. 
another the the next the l of gold stands for loving and it's so very important to tap into what it is that we love about ourselves and what it is that we love to do because oftentimes we let the 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 things that happen in life we let them take control of our lives and we forget to dial in on what it is that makes us happy what it is that makes our hearts light up what it is that ignites our light within and so it's important to make time for those things so like it could be as simple as like taking the time to go for a walk and enjoy the fresh air that surrounds you that's so an example of really taking the ta- taking the time to do something that makes your soul light up. And for me, some of, that's hula hoop dancing when I get the chance to, or flowing spoken word because that makes my soul light up. And then when it comes to really dialing in on what it is that you love about yourself, there's there's some things that we don't love about ourselves, <laughs> and, <laughs> and there's some things that. We need to put more love and attention to so that we can improve upon those things and really shine our light even brighter. Um, And so when you take the time to love yourself, it allows you to better express love for others. One thing that I found in, in this space is that there's a term called trolls. And I found that those who are trolling so hard are the ones that aren't really satisfied or happy with who they truly are. And it has nothing to do with with you. It has everything to do with what's going on in, in that individual's world. And so it, it comes down to the love that we have for ourselves. So that And it allows us to express the love for others. So enough about love, but that is one of the hugest attributes of being gold, genuine, original, loving, and then lastly, dreamer. And the dreamer is huge because I'm finding as I connect more with those who are in this at this in this world that we're entering into dialing in and entering into NFTs and really beginning to creatively express with NFTs and connect and to collaborate more with others. We are all remembering who we truly are. That's it. Like when you were a kid, you probably it's it's been known that when as a child, you probably knew you had probably the most confidence you ever had in your life as a child. You knew what you wanted to do. You had those dreams set. You were ready to go. And then the world told you otherwise. The world said, you could not be an artist. You, that, no, there's no money in artists. So you, you took another path. And you might have found happiness in that path. But maybe you're coming back and realizing that, hey, like, this is my dream. And I can achieve that now in this space, in this new world we're entering into. And so the biggest thing about being gold is that you are giving yourself permission to align with your purpose. You're giving yourself permission to fully express. You're giving yourself permission to dream again. So this is what this acronym is all about, being a genuine, original, loving dreamer. And again, I truly believe that we all are gold. We all have, we are all either expressing our golden attributes and we're all aware of the gold within us, or we have the potential to identify and align with that gold. So, but either way, we are all gold. And so now I'd like to move on to the prescription part of this talk. And the first prescription here is to make a golden gratitude list. We're going to make a golden gratitude list so that we can get gold. And one thing you'll learn about me is that I love acronyms. You just learned one already. Genuine, original, loving dreamer. You just learned that powerful acronym. Um, and I'm going to teach you another one. Oop. Okay. Let me know for whatever reason there's any tech, tech difficulties. I am still new to Discord. Can everyone hear me okay still? Yeah. Everyone's okay. Everyone's still with mm-hmm. me? Wonderful. Okay. So what does the genuine original love and dreamer stand for again? Or what is, I just, <laughs> just told you this. I just gave you the answer. So genuine and original loving dreamer is the gold. And the get here is stands for gifts, expert skills, and talents. Gifts, expert skills, and talents. When you create this gratitude list, this is going to help align with your gold. 
because it literally is what makes you gold. It's your gifts, your expert skills, and your talents. So here you'll see my golden gratitude list. And I want to challenge everyone to take the time tonight to list out at least seven of your gifts, seven of your expert skills, and seven of your talents. And like, how often do we take the time to identify our gifts, our expert skills, and talents? And so the, the, the thing that happens here when we don't take the time to do that is that we think that we aren't gifted. We think that we're not skilled and we think that we're not talented. And it's important for us to, to, to take the time to do this, this exercise regularly because it's a reminder that we really are gifted, skilled, and talented. <laughs> so a gift is something that you've been innately blessed with. It's something that you may have been told all your life, hey, you're really good at that. And you're like, and you might have rubbed it off, shaken it, shook it off like, oh, well, it just comes naturally. Like, and you might have thought that everyone else was good at it because it was so easy for you to do. <laughs> That's a gift. That's a genuine gift of yours. <laughs> And so here you've seen, you can see some of my gifts, spoken word, articulation, photographic memory, empathy, intuition. I'm a fast learner and I'm pretty good at igniting lights. <laughs> so I would love for someone to share, what are some of your gifts? I can definitely resonate with number six, five, and three. Five and three. So you you are intuitive and have a photographic memory as well. Gold. Gold. Okay. So, so any other gifts that you can identify? Four and five. Four and five. Empathy and intuition. And these gifts that you're identifying do not have to align with mine. Like if you have other gifts, please do share those gifts because again, the way that you're seeing mine and your identif and your and the light bulbs going off that's saying, "Hey, I have that too." And in the same way someone else might sh might hear that and say, "Hey, I'm gifted with that with that gift as well." So if you have other gifts, please share. What is igniting light? Igniting lights. I love hmm. that question. Igniting lights means the ability to identify a gift in others and to acknowledge them for that gift. And so we're going to actually come into that later on during today's talk when we're when we are discussing how to create a powerful personal affirmation. And what the biggest the first step in that is when you are when you don't know what to affirm you it helps to identify something in others that you appreciate and point it out for them or maybe they already know or point point essentially go up and let them know that you see their gift and you appreciate their gift and what that does is that it pulls it out even more it's a way, it's an easy way to ignite their light and then when when you're igniting their light, your light is ignited as well because you feel good. You feel good that this other individual is feeling good as well. And so, <laughs> I'm glad that resonates. I'm glad that resonates. Spoken word is another modality that I use to ignite lights. It speaks to the soul. It speaks to the soul. Like it goes straight straight past the mind that's constantly doubting and dudging and negating, and it speaks to the soul. That is a gift that I dialed, that I've remembered that I had a few years ago, and I use that regularly to ignite lights. So, does that answer your question on what I mean by igniting lights? I, yes, it does. I, so I do relate to it in the fact of being a personal trainer, and to me, it correlates to motivation to be able to motivate people to go past whatever limits they have in their head, limits that society has put upon them and it actually expounds past just physical training and so it also connects me to one of the gifts that i think um resonates a lot with people that do meet me as i'm uh, an active listener which also then translates to them 
um, in the sense realizing what gifts they have through just talking things out. Yes, yes, yes. What a gift indeed. Thank you so much for sharing that. It kind of um, reminds me of this statement I heard that, and it's so very true, and you okay. might all relate as well. Sometimes you might need to borrow somebody else's belief in, in you in order to actually embody that belief in yourself. Like you might need to borrow people, like those you work with as a personal trainer, they might need to borrow your belief in them for a minute before they actually believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, you completely hit the nail on the head there. I totally agree, and I've seen that with them. Um, but I also think it's something that we, as an active community, and just as, in a sense, more of grown-ups, need to make sure that that's something we always pass on to kids. Because I always think that the reason uh, kids are able to achieve a lot more is if they get that borrowed belief, whether it's from their parents, whether it's from their neighbor, or anybody like us who can pass that on. And just as you said, they can borrow that belief and it can help them achieve things that they never thought were possible. <laughs> exactly. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was you. And I was talking to your Grammy because her toilet had been running and I had asked her before if it was running, let me know so I could call the um the people to come fix it because, you know, that make the water bill high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Well, yes, okay. yes. So, I'm, so go ahead. No, no. Please share your gift. I was going to say, say to love, how are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm great. Um, I had a kind of crazy day, but you know what? I'm, I'm, in, I'm glad that I'm going to enjoy uh, this talk here that you're giving us all this beautiful education, uh, upliftment, I would like to say. Um, I just wanted to um, add to these gifts, because I, I noticed you have a lot of beautiful gifts there, and um, you were asking, basically, things that you see in yourself, these gifts, you know, that people tell you all the time. I just wanted to add, you mm -hmm. know, like one thing that I noticed that a lot of people tell me, that I have is like a big heart. They always tell me that, like, you have a big heart. And I think yes. that's, why, that's why I go through a lot of stuff that I go through, you know? Yes. Empathetic, so but a big heart. Beautiful, be beautiful. To vibe with people like you. Hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yes, what a gift indeed to be able to to love and uh, express that love for others. So thank you so much for sharing that that gift here and <laughs> with your with our community. So yeah, so gifts, expert skills. Now with that, we've dialed in your gifts. And again, please go home and list out your gifts. We also want to dial in your expert skills. So an expert skill is something that you might have picked up during like your nine to five, for example. Or if you run your own business, it's something that you've dialed into while running that business. And so examples of expert skills of, of mine include the ability to effectively educate. While working as a pharmacist, I needed to master this skill set so that I could effectively educate my clients on how to take control of their medications and make sure they're using it effectively and they knew what to expect. Another skill set is communicating professionally, being able to reach out, connect professionally, email etiquette, all of that. Detail oriented is also key. Researching like a pro, being able to dial in and find things that I need to find um, and make sure that the resources are, are vetted. <laughs> And then launching and scaling a business. I've done this with my speaking business. I've also done this with uh, my coaching business and self-publishing books. I'm actually publishing my third book tomorrow. And so that's another expert skill that I've dialed in over the years. And then becoming a follow-up queen, realizing that it's so important to follow up on connections that are made in the space, um, in any space. And, and how to follow up, how to track those connections so that you could effectively follow up another skill set. So these are some examples of expert skills. I know that we all have our 
a, a set of gifts, export skills, and talents, the last list here. Uh, and so you can see some examples of talents. And a talent is, is a little different from a gift or a skill set. It's something that you might have had to hone or work with or practice regularly for you to become decent or even better than decent at it. So some examples are acronym creation, writing content, hula hoop dancing, beach playing beach volleyball, uh, presentation creation, like the uh, presentation you're seeing here fairly photogenic, and I'm pretty good at publishing press releases. So th these are th there are certain things that I had to work at in order to get better at. So again, I want to encourage everyone to complete this prescription, to take this dose right here, to make your a golden gratitude list. And I, I, I would probably say that you're, it's going to be hard to find someone with the exact same set of gifts, expert skills, and talents as you do. And that's another reason why it's so important to share those gifts. So here you'll see the challenge here. I said seven earlier. Let's challenge ourselves to write seven. And I want to encourage you all here today to share this list with our tribe. Share your gratitude, your golden gratitude list to get it going with our tribe. At least three, let's challenge ourselves for seven. So if you accept this challenge, let me know. Who's accept, who accepts this challenge? I do. love this so much. I do. I'm writing oh, it right accept. now. Yes. Yes. Love it. Love it. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to, sh to reading your list because I know that we are all full. This tribe, our tribe is so full of <laughs> gifted, expert, skilled, and talented indiv individuals. So let's, let's shine. So the next prescription for today is to stop stating generic affirmations. Stop stating generic affirmations. I'm going to define what it what an affirmation is for those who have not yet um, utilized this particular tool. And we're going to create an ultimate pact with our inner selves tonight. Because it's so important to stop stating generic affirmations. And what I mean by generic affirmations are ones that you might have picked up online and um, read them thinking that it would empower you. So for example, let's first de define an affirmation then I'll give you some examples of a generic affirmation. So uh, affirmation per the Merriam-Webster dictionary is the act of affirming one's own worthiness and value as an individual for beneficial effects such as increasing one's confidence or raising self-esteem. And that's exactly what we're here for today, to really load up our empowerment tool chest so that whenever we need, whenever we're struggling or we have doubts and fears and all this questioning comes up in our minds, we can reach into our empowerment tool chest and pull out that tool to help us overcome that particular moment and continue making forward steps towards our purpose, towards our sole purpose. So a generic affirmation might be something like, I am strong. I am strong and I can do this. Or I, I, it's essentially, it's something that you, you might have read and it sound, it might sound super poetic and super powerful. And then you stated it and it didn't do anything for you because it wasn't, it didn't align with your, your personal being. It didn't align with your genuine, original, loving dream or traits. It, it didn't align. And so today I want to create a powerful, positive, personal affirmation that aligns with your gifts, your expert skills, and talents. Wow. So cool. now, sorry, did I, I think I heard someone. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that picture, just the words, just seems so powerful. You just fill in the blank. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> so, so today, I want us to really think on what is what is it that we want to release what is it that you've been holding on to whether it's self-doubt or fear or negativity whatever whatever has been holding you and that's been on your heart and it's it's heavy i want you to release that and so the, the first positive, powerful affirmation is to release that which no longer serves you. 
And then once that that is released, then I want you to now receive that which you are welcoming. What are you welcoming in the moment? Are you welcoming opportunities? Are you welcoming welcoming to align with with connections that you've been you've been looking for? If you've been looking for a personal trainer, are you welcoming to align with the personal trainer? Who, what are you welcoming? What are you welcoming? What are you receiving in the moment? Are you receiving peace? And then the second, the third affirmation is to state who you are. I am, I am gold. I am gold because I am a genuine, original, loving dreamer. And I, and I give myself permission to, to express and creatively express all of who I am. Who are you? And what are you saying yes to? Are you saying to yes to opportunities? Are you saying yes to connections? Are you saying yes to, to pivoting to NFTs? Are you saying yes to joining a, a, a new community? What are you saying yes to? And what are you embodying? Who, what are you embodying? So this actually goes back to that question, like what does it mean to ignite lights? And so oftentimes it might be hard to actually articulate what we want and who, what we are trying to embody. But if you look at someone that you admire and you see them shining their light and you notice them and you say, hey, they're shining and you can identify why it is that they're shining. Hey, they're shining because they're expressing themselves. Hmm. So there you have it. That's what you want. That's what you're welcoming. I say yes to expression. I embody a, a powerful being who is able to effectively, creatively express. So this is how you can go about creating powerful, positive affirmations that you align with, especially when those words don't initially come. You can identify what it is about somebody else that you, that you admire and pinpoint that characteristic and then let them know that you identified that and you appreciate that within them because then you're igniting their light. And then you can use that particular characteristic, that character trait to create your own affirmation so that you can embody that, that, that particular character even more to fully bring out your genuine, original, loving dreamer traits. Does that make sense? 100%. Gold. So, yes. Yes. I'm glad that this resonates. So this, this is the third prescription here is to take a golden minute. So the, the second, the first prescription was to identify, uh, to create your golden gratitude list to get gold, right? The second prescription is to stop stating generic affirmations. Whatever you read on the internet <laughs> and you think that it's going to empower you, hey, it might, but if it doesn't align with your genuine original loving dreamer traits, if it doesn't align with, with your purpose, if it doesn't, if it's not in alignment, it's not going to do anything for you. And so this is why it's important to really dial in your, your, your golden attributes and to create your own powerful, positive, personal affirmations that are more in alignment. And then take that golden minute to release that which is no longer serving you, to receive that which you are welcoming, to, to say yes to that which you are calling into your life and to embody that which you want to become and to exude more of. So take that golden minute. And so today, I would love for everyone to create one powerful positive affirmation right now in the room, in this space. And I wanted to start with the words, I am gold because. I am a genuine, original, loving dreamer because. And I'm going to give you my one example here. And again, if you take mine, <laughs> that's a generic affirmation. <laughs> so it's important to, to create your own. One that is in alignment with, again, your genuine, original, loving dreamer traits. I am, I am gold because I am an abundant being and I welcome the flow of abundance in and through me. So you could take this if it resonates. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I do want to encourage you to create a statement that it, it is in an alignment with what you are calling in in your life right now. And so if anyone has a statement in mind right now, I would love for you to share it with us today. I am gold because. I am gold because I am a nurturer. When I prosper, others prosper as well. 
Ooh, amen. And so it is. I am gold because I love to see all these people creation come to fruition. Mm. Amen. And so it is. I'm I am gold because I am a peacemaker that prospers in a co- in a collaborative environment. Mm. Amen. And so it is. I am gold because I meet people where they are on their journey. Mm. Amen. And so it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you all so much for sharing your golden light. Are there any other golden statements that anyone would like to make before we move on today? Um, I am gold because... Can you hear me? I would say I am gold because Mm -hmm. I ideate boundlessly and my ADHD allows me to soar. Amen. And so it is. Beautiful. We are all golden beings. Thank you so much for shining that light. Okay, so now we move on to the fourth and final prescription for tonight, and that is to create a a golden board or to establish a piggy bank of self-trust. A golden board is a in a sense a piggy bank of self-trust in itself. So what I mean by a piggy bank of self-trust, this so this is actually this is for those who need a physical, tangible view of their, their successes. And some of us might need that. I know I do. And so I, this is an assignment here for those who, who feel like they need a physical, tangible reminder of their gold or and the successes that come in life because of the their of them expressing the gold their genuine original loving dreamers so the the exercise here is to take a physical piggy bank that you would normally fill with money or coins and rather than fill it and you can fill it with with money and coins but in order for you to drop any coin into that piggy bank there's got to be something that stimulates that drop. And it could be someone, it could be a victory or success that day. So for example, I would drop in being um, a confirmed speaker at the NFT NYC t- this morning. And, or, and then I would drop in being able to physically and um, effectively ignite this, the Tribe X space in the Discord channel today with this particular presentation, I drop that in as a reminder of me being able to do this, me being able to accomplish this, and or it could be it could be even me going on a on a walk. I walked. Um, let's see, this morning I did um, six miles. This morning I sped walked six miles, and my last mile was eleven minutes and thirty seconds, and I was really excited and proud of myself for being able to accomplish that. That's an accomplishment. I'm going to drop. a a dime or or, uh, in my piggy bank because I want to remind myself that I was able to do it. And so after a while, you'll start to see this piggy bank actually fill up with all the accolades, all the accomplishments that you made. And it's a reminder for yourself that you were able to accomplish that and you could do it again. You did it once and you could do it again. And as that piggy bank begins to fill up, it's a, it's a, becomes a piggy bank of self-trust, a reminder that says, Hey, like I am gold. I'm, I'm making these moves and I'm getting it going and I'm achieving and I'm learning and I'm growing. And so that's, that's something that if that resonates, I encourage you to do that. I personally have a golden board. And on this golden board, I display all of my accolades and all of my genuine, original, loving dreamer traits, my dreams. A lot of people might, if you've heard of a vision board, a golden board takes a vision board to another level. So a vision board is just your dreams. A golden board is everything that makes you a genuine, original, loving dreamer. So it's everything that makes you, you. So on this board, this is actually my board that you're seeing now is actually my physical board that I have in my room. 
And it's the first thing I see in the morning when I wake up and it's the last thing I see at night. And usually my eyes go to, goes to one specific point on the board that it's a reminder. It's exactly what I need to see in the moment. Sometimes when I'm, I'm not having a good day and I feel like I've been really grouchy, and <laughs> my eyes will go to right in the middle where it says best presence. I need to remember that I need to exude my best presence so that I can really bring in <laughs> more of that presence that I'm welcoming. But I need to exude that presence first. And I have that best presence within me. That's why my mom named me peace. She wanted peace and I feel like I gave her that in life. <laughs> so, so this board is an embodiment of who I am. And so it's a reminder. It's a reminder to myself to stay in alignment with my genuine, original, loving dreamer traits. And so on this, so really this prescription here is to, is to either create a piggy bank, a physical piggy bank where you fill it up with, with, with uh, coins that represent your successes, the accolades, the, the uh, if someone compliments you that day, that's another reason to drop a, drop a diamond to that piggy bank. Because you are, not only are you igniting lights, but people are inspired by the light that you're igniting. People are inspired by you. So like, it's established a piggy bank of self-trust, either by creating a physical piggy bank where you load it up with your accolades and you'll see that grow. You'll see that grow, that self-trust in yourself grow, or to create this golden board where it's a display of your genuine, original, loving dreamers traits, or do both, whatever resonates with you. So that is the final prescription for the night. And the reason why this is so very important is because in order to give yourself permission to transition or to pivot into any new space, there's going to be self-doubt that comes through Whenever you join a new community, whenever you uh, take on a new challenge, there's doubts that come through. And in order for us to give ourselves permission to fully engage and to fully take part and to fully receive that which is available by by saying yes, (laughs) it's important to have that empowerment tool chest all loaded up so that when those doubts and fears come through, you can negate that with those tools, those mindset tools that we just went over today. Those, these four prescriptions are going to come in handy. And the reason being is that these tools are so very important is really comes down to my seed theory. And so bear with me a minute as I describe this theory of mine that I call my seed theory. And it really comes down to Knowing that a seed contains within it the potential to grow into something beautiful and unique. So a watermelon seed will grow into a watermelon. A cantaloupe seed will grow into a cantaloupe. A pumpkin seed will grow into a pumpkin. It's going to grow into something beautiful and unique if you let it. If, but if you, plant, if you plant that seed into dry, fertile, unfertile, dry, unfertile soil, one that's filled with doubt and, and self-doubt and fears, it's, it's not going to thrive. <laughs> Let me tell you that. But if you plant that same seed into a mindset that's fertile, that's full of confidence and hope and the, the belief in themselves, that seed will, will, will thrive. And so thoughts are like seeds. And like seeds, thoughts hold the potential to become something incredible. An idea, a, 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 an incredible golden idea has the ability to reach incredible potential. But if it's planted in a, in a, in a, in a mindset, in a, in a mind that's full of doubt and fear and lack of confidence, those ideas that come through to us, those connections that, that come through, they're going to wither and die because we're not ready for it. Our mind isn't fertile. Our mind isn't empowered. We don't have that confidence in ourselves. So those opportunities are going to pass right on by. And I don't want that to happen to any of us here in our tribe. 
And so that's why I wanted to take the time tonight to load up our empowerment tool chest with these tools, with these four prescriptions so that we can get it going confidently and give ourselves permission to pivot. So these are the three steps that we need to, in order to effectively pivot into any new space or uh, effectively take on a new challenge, effectively join a community and be, be a, a, a member, a valued member in, 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 in a space. And in order for us to do that, we need to set our intention. What's your intention? What is your intention? Is your intention to get involved? Is your intention to grow? Is your intention to monetize with NFTs? Is your intention to express, to creatively express? What's your intention? And then set that intention. Set that intention and believe in yourself fully. Have that empowerment tool chest loaded up so when those self-doubts come up, and of course they will, like <laughs> they will come up. We're human. But we know how to remind ourselves what we're capable of. We've got these tools loaded up. We, we can be able to pull, hey, no, I can do this. I've done it before. My piggy bank of self-trust shows me that I've done this before and it's been appreciated. No, my golden board shows me that I am a genuine, original, loving and dreamer. I can accomplish this mission. I can accomplish this. I believe in myself. And then this, this allows us to make those forward steps towards achieving that vision that we foresee. And set yourself up for success. This third point is so very powerful. Oftentimes we, set our, we don't really set ourselves up for success because we don't ask for help. If you have a question, if you have something that, you, that it is, a, is a hump and you know that you need help to, to, to go past this hump, reach out and ask. This is all part of setting yourself up for success, giving ourselves full permission to pivot, giving ourselves full permission to receive that opportunity, giving ourselves full permission to really make an impact. Set your intention, believe in yourself, set yourself up for success. Again, this comes back to this statement that my mom would tell me time and time again growing up. Wadawanya, get it going. Set your intention, Wane. Set your intention and get it going towards that, towards that goal. This statement is what got me through, got me to pharmacy school in the first place, got me through pharmacy school, got me to become a doctor. Then a couple, then a, a decade later, empowered me to pivot and, and to really fully, more, for, more fully align with my purpose. To, to enter into the NFT space. And now <laughs> it's, it's been life-changing, giving myself permission to pivot by setting my intention, believing in myself, and setting myself up for success. One statement that Gary Vee has said, he said so many different empowering statements, but one thing was that oftentimes people think that it's, it's a negative thing when you pivot. Like you, you weren't able to fully um, succeed, so you pivoted. But no, not at all. Giving yourself permission to pivot, giving yourself permission to transition, giving yourself uh, the 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 giving yourself permission to take on a new opportunity, to explore a new avenue, is actually very empowering. It's saying, "Hey." Like I've learned what I need to learn here and now I can apply what I've learned into this other avenue. I can, I can really make a difference when I can really utilize what I learned and really challenge myself further to go down this other path. And so that's something I really want to hone in on here today. If you're in this moment where you're you're struggling with giving yourself permission to pivot or giving yourself permission to receive an opportunity. There's, there's a lot of empowerment in, in, in that, in having that opportunity in the first place and giving yourself permission to receive that new, that, that new opportunity that's before you. So the golden recap for today is we went through a lot 
three powerful empowerment tools to calibrate. You learned the golden affirmations to take you from powerless to powerful that we broke down into these four prescriptions that were just featured in Forbes. Another drop in the accolade bucket for myself uh, because that was a huge uh, feat for me to be able to achieve that probably to span six months of going back and forth with trying to get published in Forbes. And to be able to get to to be able to be in Forbes for not for not just my uh, the the doctorate um, of that that I have it's it wasn't even that that got me in Forbes it was the empowerment tools because there is such a huge calling in the world right now for the ability to empower our confidence moving forward because if you can't if you don't have your empowerment tool chest loaded up then forget about it so true <clears throat> so i hope that today that you you're you're loading up that empowerment tool chest that it's it's ready to go to make those decisions it's ready to go to make those steps forward steps towards your soul purpose we all have a different definition of success and for me when when I was working as a full-time pharmacist, I looked successful, but I didn't feel successful. And I think that's so important to realize that we all have a different definition of success. Everyone here, you, someone else's vision of success might be like look different from your vision of success. It's so very important to be in alignment with your vision of success. What it is that makes you feel successful. So... My definition of success is when, when my future self looks back at my present and smiles with pure content because it knows that I'm making forward steps towards achieving that future vision of myself. And so, again, everyone has a def different definition of success. Right now, I feel the most successful I've ever felt in my life. So today, again, we went over your golden gratitude list to own innate gifts and talents. We went over the golden board to remind your mind what you're capable of, or if you decide that um, having a, a piggy bank of self-trust is more, more in alignment with, 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 with you. Do that, do that. Develop that worthiness mindset. Give yourselves permission to pivot. That's what this is all about. So again, I am so talented. I'm gonna be rich and famous someday. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right so whatever that means what, whatever that means if it's rich and famous with with money if it's rich and famous with happiness if it's rich and famous with opportunities if it's rich with with love whatever that means to you you are we are all so very gifted skilled and talented we are so very gifted skilled and talented we are all gold so let us move forward with, with this powerful feeling of this embodiment of who we truly are. Genuine, original, loving dreamers. Let's flow gold. LFG. Let's flow gold. Whew. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was empowering. Mm, I'm happy to hear definitely was thank you so very much doc i'm not sure um thank I you so much yes thank you You're i'm welcome. not sure if it's a case where um everyone was just locked in as i was why they were so quiet because basically sometimes in life our days are so hectic and we just need a moment to just be calm to just be still to just listen mm -hmm. and i think this really gave me opportunity to do so and I, I think i would think it gave a lot of persons the opportunity to just sit down and be calm and relax yes i'm happy to hear happy to hear so were there anything any per particular prescriptions that really resonated with anyone that they would like to share more on or and any anything that resonated or is on anyone's heart tonight to share yeah, I think the one that said establish a piggy bank of self trust resonated with me because mm -hmm. I did it uh, without knowing. I've been writing for like three years just because I love writing. And one thing that I always said to myself, because I always had this fear of, oh, wow, I wrote this now. What if I lose this? So good. 
So I always tell myself, all right, if I write this now, I shouldn't care whether I lose it or not because I should be able to do it again. Mm. I always kept telling myself that, and I didn't actually know it was something of, like you know, like you mentioned, it was a piggy bank of self-trust. Yes, yes, the piggy bank of self-trust. So you're writing, you're writing messages to yourself, messages that you needed to hear, your soul needed to express. And yeah, then, my notes is probably filled with those. Mm, Sometimes yes. I look back and it's like, wow, this that's actually was feeling that last week. If I just came back to this last week, it probably would have been a different week now. Yes, I, I encourage you when you are ready to share what you're writing with others, whether it is um, whether it's um, open mic, um, that's where I first started doing spoken word, or whether it is actually publishing that work in a book. One of actually a couple of my books are actually books of poetry, um, or whether that is minting those words as NFTs. In fact, I'm actually in the middle of a 365 day spoken word NFT project personally that I'm minting a spoken word every single day for the entire year of 2022. And it's words that I've been writing <laughs> for the past few years and now I'm making them into an NFT every single day. And so whatever that it resonates with you on how to share that, I encourage you to consider when you're ready because those words could really speak to others and really uplift others as well. And we talked earlier about igniting lights and words are a very powerful way to ignite those lights. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, <clears throat> sorry. So igniting lights um, along with everything else. But for me, I have that personality where I see that I am an empath for one and I like to I feel in feeling your energy feeling that you're sad I want to try to make you happy I want to lift your spirit so I would definitely want to ignite um light in your life and in this space in this current um society a lot of the times it you would be surprised of the simple thing that you may say to someone that takes them out of a hole, that inspires them, that pushes them, that takes doubt out of their minds. They may have um, grown up in a, a community or in a household that usually spoke down to them, that didn't motivate them, that, that didn't encourage them. And they have this light, they have talent. And due to fear or due to always hearing negative feedback, um, they don't push themselves. So, like, persons out there who are um, igniters of light are definitely needed in society to just sit back, be observant sometimes, be kind to others you don't know what persons are going through, and just always try to, to spread positivity and um, instill positive um, thoughts, compliments, encourage others. Um, you never know. The, the extent to which a simple word, a, a kind um, gesture, kind words can go. So that's mm. it for me. So true, so true. You never know. You never know what others are going through. Uh, so it's important for us to spread positivity, light, and love wherever we go. It could really make a difference, ignite the lights, ignite the lights around us. Because it's a ripple effect. When yeah. you ignite the light in someone else, then they go and they feel more powerful and empowered and they ignite the light in, in, in someone they touch. And then it, it's just a ripple effect, right? And so right now, like if, if you think about it, the negative to that is this is something that we're often more even probably used to is when someone's grumpy and grouchy and then they, 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 they create a whole <laughs> ripple of gr grumpy and grouchiness yeah. and negativity. <laughs> that is true. And it's unfortunate that we are more aware of that happening than we are of this this ignition of lights and positivity, light and love spreading. And so, but it could start from from us. It could start start from <laughs> stop. It could start right here. Oh, and Jeffrey was murdered. I knew. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I, we thought you were saying something. I mean, from a little bunk, a little bunk bed in prison. Are you about to speak? Yeah. 
Oh, no, 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 just right. hear somebody. <laughs> oh, did that. <laughs> so. Okay. Just before he almost drowned in two feet of water. That. Oh, right, he almost drowned in two feet of water. Split. No worries. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, listening like to this conversation here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Keith. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. In... Okay. All right, I I muted them. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I was enjoying oh. the conversation though. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, is there anyone else who would like to share um, anything at all in terms of what if there's a prescription here that we talked about today that resonated, or um, any anything that's on anyone's heart before we close today's session? Yeah, I just wanted to say to Doc, like, thank you. I can really feel your energy and everything that's coming through, your passion. I could tell that your head is in, like, a few different places just with how animated and how excited you are and how genuine you are. But being present here with us, I definitely feel that it came through to everybody here. And I want to thank you for that. You're so very welcome. I received that gratitude. Thank you for being present as well. Awesome. All right, anyone else um, having, I think we, I got a question. The question was um, that they wanted to listen to um, this space. I think uh, we may have it recorded. It may be on the Tribex YouTube, hopefully. I'm not sure, but um, we'll see. And definitely Doc is, I'm sure she'll, I'm not sure if she does um, one-on-ones or what, but I'm sure um, if people identifying your presence and the impact you can have, the positive impact. So, and she is an insider, so you can definitely share your feedback. As again, you can hashtag doc please, and we can um, direct those concerns specifically, but definitely a really, really good space tonight. Mm-hmm. Yes, happy to hear, happy to connect further, happy to be part of this incredible tribe. Uh, let's, let's continue flowing gold and expressing our, our light. I would love to end uh, as we started with our Tribe X flow. How does that sound? Sounds great. <laughs> you ready to flow? Ready. Yeah, we ready. <laughs> <laughs> let's Whoa. go. So yeah. I'm going to share the yeah. extended version of this flow. Yes. Um, is someone attempting to speak? I guess not. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but let me go ahead. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to share this, the extended version of this flow. It's about two and a half minutes long the extended version. So I want to encourage everyone to, or invite everyone here tonight to take one last collective breath with me in and out. Are you my friend? I'll admit I'm confused. I used to friend request and now I follow. Am I in this alone? I once thought that birds flew solo, each bird on its own, just feathers and bone relying alone on their wings to soar. Now I see that even though they move independently, they are part of something much greater than what they could be individually. And like a bird, I may sing to my own music and dance to my own drum, but connections ground me, reminding me that I am not alone. My purpose is greater than me, myself, or I. I once believed that whether or not I chose to use my gifts was my prerogative. But does burying my talents do you or I any good? Pardon my mind delay. Sometimes I may need to remind my mind what it's capable of. Jog myself from doubt to a confident state. See, I am not alone, my friend. And neither are you. I see you. We are in this flock together for the better and together we thrive. See where I come from, we all exist as one. 
No one left behind as was once done in the past. We thrive as a tribe. United. See, I am Tribe X. X meaning we come as we are. X meaning we are ready to fill our cups with insight and light. X meaning we exist to impact lives, breathing life back into life. Again and again. And in this not so distant future or parallel reality of shifting mentality from them to us, from me to we, we make waves in the metaverse. See, I now represents the collective and together we thrive. I am Tribe X. Welcome to the rebirth. I am Tribe X. Welcome to the rebirth. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome. welcome. Very welcome. Thank you. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm yes. having some flashbacks to the.